I would like to thank everybody for watching today. We're doing this uh, variety dinosaur uh, right here. And there's basically uh, three variant blocks. Uh, what that means in English is there's three different dinosaurs that we can do. We're going to be focusing on this number one right here. Uh, but there's also two other options that are available or two other things you can build. Uh, item number two is right here. And, of course, there's a third item which you can build as well. Uh, we're going to label that item number uh, three right here. So there's three different items that you can build, but we're going to focus on uh, the instructions for item number one, which is number uh, K19A-4, uh, and that's uh, this number one right here. And uh, the thing about this is there's quite a lot of pieces to start. In fact, uh, there are uh, 64 pieces to be exact. So uh, it, it starts out kind of hard, and then it gets easier as you go. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, let's start out with uh, gathering the pieces for step number one. There's a uh, big 4 by 2 and then there's a couple small pieces. And then there's this uh, little gray piece that we're going to look for a little bit later uh, that we have to put through the little small pieces. There's one of the gray pieces right there. And we got to stick that through uh, both of those pieces and try to uh, balance it out there. And that's going to hold the legs in place. All righty, we got it right there. Now all we need to do is snap it on, snap done, and step number one is complete. Now we can go ahead and turn our attention to gathering uh, all the pieces that we need for step number two. And in this case, there's seven pieces. You can see right in the uh, top right-hand corner of uh, step number two, it shows you how to assemble each one. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to get that in. So I'm going to go with the easy step first and just uh, put the piece in the back. Now we got to do the uh, piece assembly right here. Connect those two and then uh, make it look like it does in the diagram there. We're going to put that piece on right there. The yellow piece right there sideways. And then it goes in that uh, little uh, gray thing we had sticking out. That's going to hold one leg. And then basically what we're going to do is we are going to do the same thing uh, for the other side, except we're going to do the inverted version of it. We're going to do it the, in the opposite way, but basically the same concept. All right, get the yellow piece on there, and uh, that's going to go on that uh, spot right there, and then we got the two legs in place. When we take a look at uh, step number three, we see a lot of moving pieces that we have to uh, set up, and I mean a lot of different moving pieces. Uh, in fact, you may want to take a minute and stuff to just look at this and try to, to gather, figure out what you need to gather here. Uh, there's several different, sp or two different spots for the legs, and then there's a spot for the tail, and then there's another spot up top, and then there's a couple uh, regular pieces here. We're slowly... Uh, gathering them there and uh, basically uh, the best approach to doing this is to just take it one piece at a time so we got that one piece on uh, the next easy piece on okay cool now we can uh, put that tail piece on and then make sure we have the tail part stick them in the right direction there all right and tails on I think you got to tighten it a little more but let's get this uh, other spot on first. It's a little trickier than it looks. It's basically a matter of snapping it on right there. And then snapping that tail on all the way as well. Okay. Now we just need to put the, uh, the lower portion of the feet on. And make sure we've got it pointed in the right direction with this uh, as it shows on the picture on the left. Okay. One down, one to go. Uh, there's the other one, and all we're going to need to do is snap it in place. And uh, cool, we've completed step number three. So that step took a little time, and this next step, step number four, is going to take a little bit of time as well. Uh, so, you know, uh, when you have a bigger step, what you want to do is just... Uh, 
take it one one piece at a time so we're going to gather all the pieces here and try to come up with a plan to uh, get that thing uh, set up you know try to follow the instructions uh, there we got one uh, thing put together okay let's focus on getting another one of these together and uh, oh let's get some of these uh, pieces on here okay here's that piece here's that piece right there and eventually this is going to going to resemble a tail uh, looking for that yellow piece where it was a yellow piece yellow pieces there somewhere there it is nope oh there it is all right yellow piece is on all right let's get that tail in place okay we got the tail portion done now let's get the rest of the stuff done here we need a square four by four piece let's make sure we're solid there so let's uh yeah let's turn our attention attention to the easier stuff uh there's a square four by four uh piece of, or two by two piece i was talking about and there's uh another spot right there and then we're going to work on the legs here and the front toes for the right leg and last but not least the tricky part at least for me not so much finding these little things but it's uh, figuring out a way to snap them in place they're a little tiny for my fingers let's see if we push on that one okay got it now let's do the same thing on this one right here the left leg and got it step number five looks simple enough and it's somewhat simple uh, there's only basically one two three pieces however what we have to do is we're going to build two, this is building an arm uh, so we're going to build two of these so we're going to have to write uh, two uh, x on there uh, per se yeah so we want to we want to build this twice i'm only going to build it once in this step but you'll see me build it a second time later on. Step number six is similar to number five in that you got to build two of these, except uh, the second one you're going to build is going to be an inverse, uh, per se, of the one you did on number five. Uh, so basically, you're going to build two of these. We're only going to build one in this example, but we'll build the second one when we get to step number seven. So just remember uh, two of these as well. So now we finally made it to step number seven, where we can basically uh, put together a mirror image of what we made in step number five and six. So we have both arms in place. So we have we have the one arm, the left arm in place. Now we just need to make the right arm, and we'll basically just follow the steps we used. Uh, from step number five and six to get us there and get us uh, get that piece all set up. So okay, uh, we've almost got it there. One more piece on the end. All right, we got an arm there. I don't know if you can see all the way there, and we're gonna put it on the side there, and we're gonna put the other arm there, and voila! After all that work, we have finally completed step number seven. Now it's time to go ahead and start tackling uh, step number eight. Obviously, uh, we'll gather all the pieces we can uh, first off, and then we're going to build that uh, green piece they show on the left there. All right, let's get that hinge piece on uh, top there. Okay, getting the dinosaur body there. We got the hinge piece on. Now we just need to put all the yellow pieces on top the same way they show on the picture. And it'll be a little tricky sticking these in here. Not the hardest, but not the easiest. All right, all three of them. And then the piece in the middle. And uh, there we have it. For being so close to the end, step number nine is a little bit of work. As always, we'll slowly chip away at this by gathering all the pieces and then trying to assemble them as we go. But yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit of work here. 
but it's gonna it's gonna look nice when we complete it I uh, just gonna make sure that we match up everything that's on that diagram we're working on the bottom left hand corner uh, right now and okay we're gonna hinge that head on that's good now for the fun part we gotta get the spiky uh, the spiky midsection we gotta get that on too and you can see I had a little problem with the arm uh, I kept falling off on the end there got the arm back on right arm that is and getting one more piece here got to kind of finagle it and hold it and look for a good pressure point to snap it in now of course one more little piece here and then we'll have the piece in the middle a little square I don't know if you can see that down there gonna put that in right there and voila we got it so after a few big uh, challenging steps, it's time for a little bit easier one here. And that's step number 10, as we're going to slowly uh, work our way down here. Okay, we got that piece on. Now we just got to get the back piece on here. And uh, one more piece. There, we got it. Almost. There's an extra piece I found there, and what I ended up doing is put on the very back of the tail. Uh, not sure where it goes in the diagram, actually. Alright, now we're at the final step, and that involves putting on these decals. So let's go ahead and get started with the eye on the side there. And with decals, it's just a matter of taking what you think is the easiest and working your way uh, from there. And as you work your way down the list of uh, decals, you might observantly notice there on number 11, there is no decals on that picture. So the question becomes, well, how do I know what to, to put what where? How do I do this without messing up? And that's a good question. Uh, what you want to do is look at the under uh, the part that says number 9K194. Uh, number A, look at that uh, picture right there, and that uh, provides you with uh, some pictures as to what, what is going on with the decals. Now, of course, that's not the only option, as you can also look at uh, the box as well. No matter which option you choose, uh, the main point is with the decals, you just want to whittle it down one at a time and then work your way uh, through the potential list of uh, spots. As you can see these legs are a little bit tricky to get them around there. But hey, uh, we're going to make this work and make it look nice. So, okay, we got that one in. Now we just got to do the other side, turn the legs, turn the arms, get that decal off there. There we go, and now for the tricky part, it's a little bit sticky. And you know, if you're not sure on a, uh, a specific decal, you know, hold off until you know it's the last one. As you can do the process of elimination thing, it makes it a little easier to figure out what to put where. All right, we've got one more decal here, I think, and that's gonna go right there. Oh no, we got more than one. I apologize. That's going to go on the side there. And uh, we got this one right here. It's a little tricky to get off. And you can probably figure out where that's going as well. That goes on the other side. And uh, one last little one. That was the front one. I wasn't sure which one it was at first. But after using the process of elimination, I was able to narrow it down to that front one. And then we had the nose, and then it was cool. We had another dinosaur to add to our collection here. Uh, a little bit tricky in this one, just trying to get this thing to balance. Uh, you got to move the legs around and finagle it so uh, you, know, you have it, have it balanced. But if you work it just right, just a little bit more. There we go. We have it. We have our dinosaur all set up there to join the others. And that wraps up our journey assembling this nice looking dinosaur here. A little tricky to balance, but I think it was definitely worth it, even though there were some challenging spots. 
And of course, that's going to wrap this video up. I would like to thank everybody for watching and good luck.